One of the things that makes the art department at Utah Valley University unique is our faculty. And we have a diverse mix of faculty that are professionals in their field. We have many faculty that have, have, have abandoned careers professionally to come teach because they want to be engaged with students. They see what we're doing here at Utah Valley University. Uh, they're, they're excited about, uh, about the art that we're creating. These professionals can actually prepare them for a career. The degree programs that are offered are BAs, Bachelor of Arts, um, Bachelor of Fine Arts, where you can be very specific in a discipline like illustration or photography or design or something like that. And then there's just an opportunity to come and develop your skills. Some students are going to want to take these classes because it will give them other opportunities in the discipline that they're in. And ultimately the goal is that you leave either with a portfolio or with a set of skills that will let you better make it in the job scene or be able to explore your own creativity. So you're F20. Our program we think is unique in that we give experiences that the student then can form what type of discipline they want to go into. So we provide different experiences both with digital and darkroom and the student decides where they want to take that career path. Photography by definition is light writing, so lighting is imperative to actually being able to execute good imagery. We have two classes that are really heavily concentrated on lighting, and um, both those classes will give you the foundations and basics, and also we teach the techniques of professional commercial photography, as well as uh, lighting that will translate into any discipline you choose to um, go into with photography. Some of the engaged learning projects that we've had our students do have been uh, a book project that just was completed with uh, Howard Fulmer and our faculty, Travis Lovell, and that was to commemorate World War I. Uh, it's a beautiful book. We also have our students doing real life projects whenever possible. We will try to work with an art director, do some advertising. We feel that our students are well prepared through these projects. You want some clay there and you want a substantial amount. Your best bet for a career path in ceramics or sculpture would probably be one of the, the three following. You could be a studio artist and sell your work through you know galleries and, and you know different places like that. A lot of our students end up going into education. Um, it's almost a sure thing for our students to get employment as teachers and so there is the secondary ed and then if you go on to grad school you could possibly get employment as a university professor. I think the appeal of ceramics for most people is that I think there's something there for everybody. A lot of our students are the, I think, sometimes the people who don't feel like they have strong background in art. I have a lot of students that are like, I can't draw. And, and that's actually fine because I think there is an area of what we do that, you know, is so technique based that, you know, um, it, it appeals to people who don't think they have, you know, that natural art ability. I think there's something for everybody. An art history degree is probably one of the most interdisciplinary degrees on any university campus. It, it covers a lot. It includes religious history. It includes the philosophical developments of that particular period. It might even include the economics history of a time and a place. So art history is going to branch out into several different areas, not just the work of art, but it's placing the work of art in the historical context of the time and the place in which it was made. There's a lot of benefits to art history, and one of those, on a very basic level, is that it teaches you, it forces you to develop really keen critical thinking, critical writing, critical reading, critical researching skills. So an art history degree can provide kind of a nice platform of, of different things. Having a museum at a university is valuable because we can act as a community bridge. So not only do we have students coming through our doors, but we have the visiting public. So the community gets to see what the students are doing, what the faculty is doing, just get an exposure to contemporary art shows that are happening. The museum studies class is a benefit to students because 
It gives them practical experience with our collection. Uh, so not only do we have visual art students in this class, we have art history students, some history students, um, and they learn how to handle the artwork, how to display it for the public, and interpret it for our visitors that are coming through. So there's a lot of context that can be applied, um, and it relates to all the disciplines, but really having that hands-on experience in the real world is going to help our students to excel as they move into their careers. Graphic design is the study of graphic elements, it's the use of typography, it's visual arts and, and, and problem solving form. We're solving visual problems through art and designing elements. In order to get into graphic design there should be an interest in creativity and problem solving. There should be a, a built-in interest in the arts. A person doesn't have to be a, an artist per se but interested in creativity and problem solving. As a graphic designer, you can get work in all parts of this country and in other countries. It's, it's a wide-ranging and very fertile market right now. In the future, I think that things will be more digital. There will be more careers that, that, that overlap one another, that are integrated. We have a serious art program. It's one of the more impressive art programs in the state and no one knows about it. It's a great benefit to the students that are here in the Valley that, uh, that, that find out that indeed they can come and, and, and get a really great education in the visual arts here at UVU.